what's up guys? Welcome to the latest edition of Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Brayden Ursel and I'll be guiding you through some of the top stories that happened in the Okanagan. It's a Kelowna heavy episode that includes a serious crime in an upper mission neighborhood, a firearms incident that required the RCMP's tactical team to make an arrest, a fire that burned down a long-standing convenience store in town, and the celebration of Pride Week in Kelowna. We'll start things off from the top where two bodies have been found inside a Kelowna home with another person left in hospital in critical condition. Information remains scarce at this time, but RCMP say the serious crime took place Thursday night on Swan Drive around 9 p.m. A witness captured a video from across the street that shows an individual receiving chest compressions from paramedics. Members arrived at the scene just before 2100 hours, so that's like 9 o'clock yesterday, and uh, found two deceased, one and one unresponsive uh, individual who are who is now in the hospitals and as far as I know at this moment in critical condition. And, uh, the investigation is ongoing. I'm trying to understand what what took place and trying to you know, piece together all the puzzle. Neighbors say the residents of the home moved in about a year ago and the family has two children, both believed to be under the age of 10. Police have not released any details on who died or how they died, and it is currently unknown if any arrests have been made. RCMP have arrested a woman who is now facing several firearms-related charges in connection to a report that sh of shots fired in the 2800 block of Kelowna's Appaloosa Road. Police say they responded to reports of a woman firing a weapon that Thursday morning. When Castanet arrived on scene, police had already instructed neighbors to stay indoors and they had the house surrounded with a tactical team quickly moving onto the property to make a successful arrest. The RCMP did not release the name of the woman but said she's known to police and appeared to be distraught on site. That's when they decided to call in the tactical team. Kelowna's long-standing Bankhead convenience store has burned to the ground. A fire was sparked at the Bernard Avenue building early Sunday morning, but unfortunately by the time fire crews arrived at the scene, it was too dangerous to enter. The Bankhead store had uh, cinder block walls and uh, sawdust insulation, and so it had gotten into the sawdust insulation, but we couldn't get water on the fire because of the cinder block walls, oh, okay. and it had just burned through the roof at the back of the structure, so it was just kind of a smoldering fire. Uh, that's why we brought the backhoe in to take a wall down so we can actually get the fire out be a total loss. It's too bad. The building's been here a long time, uh, but unfortunately with the, the construction and the way the fire went, we did have to take two walls down. The owners of the convenience store were forced to watch from the sidelines on Sunday, and they say the fire is devastating for the entire family. Luckily, nobody was injured in the blaze. Love was in the air all week in Kelowna as the city celebrated pride with a number of events around town all seven days of the week including a trans march, coffee with queers, a dragon burlesque show, the pride march, pride festival, and more. The energy of these festivals are always uh, so, there's so much love and there's just so much joy, uh, so it's just amazing. We've grown every single year uh, since we've started hosting the pride parade and it's just amazing to see the support from the community grow every single year. Thousands of people flocked to Kelowna City Park on Saturday to show their support and to close out the annual event with food, drinks, and live entertainment. That just about does it for this week's edition of the Castanet Week in Review. It's been lovely having you along for the ride, and we'll see you all next week. For Castanet News, I'm Braden Ursel.